Hey y'all, it is Julian, also as the Beard Throw Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online. So right now we gotta pull some orders. We're actually also watching a online auction on high bid. Uh, I haven't really been on high bid a whole bunch lately, but I always check them about every week of the ones in my immediate area. There's one about 30 minutes away, and it has a bunch of like vintage fishing gear in it, and uh, you know I'm a big fan of it vintage fishing gear so i haven't been pretty high on some of this stuff we've already won some lots so we're definitely heading out there tomorrow to go pick some stuff up and once i win one i'm all about like winning a whole bunch because you got to make the ride worth it so but first we're gonna like watch this but also pull some orders so let's get going all right so right here is the first order this is going out to a viewer michael thank you so much for purchasing this this is a mizuno driving forged head only this is what i picked up uh, a little bit ago at a private pick. I didn't have the camera with me, but I picked it up. It's a really nice golf head. Here it is right here in good condition. Beautiful, there it is, Mizuno MP001. So thank you so much for the purchase and supporting me and the channel. All right, here is a Longenberger Sunflower Basket. It has the liner and protector. I only sold this for $10. One, because I got it for free. And two, it was actually only worth like 19 bucks. That's what I listed it for. I shot them an offer at like 15. They shot back at 10 plus shipping. And I was like, you know what? And it's one of the smaller baskets. And here it is. So that's really not that bad. They got a good deal on it. And I got it out of here. And I made a quick $10 because it sold within probably a day or two. So fast sale, quick 10 bucks. I don't mind packing that up. All right, here's the next sale. I picked this up at a Goodwill probably about three months ago. It sold once and then they didn't pay for it and then it just sold again. Had it listed for 75 bucks and I don't actually know how to say that. I don't know if it's a Volk and then the that's an I or an L, but it's a tennis racket size four. It says read, uh, the grip is needs a little work on it. And I uh, went out for $55 plus shipping. All right, so anytime I'm looking at tennis rackets, I always say this, if this is one solid piece right here, so there's no seam there, I always comp the tennis racket out. Now, majority of times, that means it's a pretty high quality tennis racket. Sometimes it doesn't mean that. So you wanna make sure you do comp them out correctly. Or anytime on the bottom is if I see like, this is bio sensor, any type of sensor on the bottom or anything. I had one tennis racket that actually had something in the handle that connected to your phone that told you how fast you were swinging the thing or something. So that one went for a lot of money, but I'll definitely take $55 for that. And again, took a couple months to sell, but not too bad from a goodwill. All right, here is another sale. This is one of those grips that I had. And I just took this one out separately because it was a training grip right-handed. And I knew it was right-handed, by the way, it fit on my hand, which would be a right-handed uh, person. And so for $4 plus shipping, and here it is. So if you ever see one of these weird looking grips, this is a training grip. So it basically tells you when you're learning how to play golf, how your grip should be on the golf club. So I just dropped one of my videos and Emily, thank you so much for buying this. You just commented that you just bought three of them and I just came through. So thank you. These are those racing blocks. So thank you so much, Emily, for your support. I really appreciate it. Here are your racing blocks and they will be heading out ASAP. You might have them by the time this uh, video drops, depending on where you live. So thank you so much for the support. All right. So these are the ones I'm going for. I won't really show you a whole bunch because it's really not fun watching a computer screen, but we got vintage fishing reels. They're all old pens. This one comes with an old pen and some gear. The thing is with gear, unless they're old wooden, uh, you know, lures, they really don't go for a lot of money. So you're really just bidding on that one reel. You got fishing rods on this one and then more fishing rods and a card on this one. So this is the reason why I'm here and I am hoping that I get them. I mean, you can get them. You just got to be able to flip them for the amount of money. So this stuff usually goes pretty high. So we'll see how this goes. All right, we got another sale going out and it is to Bill. He bought a racing block. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, I'm telling you, these things are going fast. Bill, this is heading your way. All right, on the ride out, I want to go ahead and thank a couple people that have bought me some coffees. The first one is Diane. Thank you so much for buying me a coffee. Dusty, you bought me two coffees. Thank you so much. And Janet, you bought me one coffee. So thank you so much for the support. If you don't know what that is, that is going to be a link down below. And it's basically a way that you can tip one of your favorite YouTubers. And it supports me and the channel. And I much appreciate it. So thank you so much. All right, at this time, it's about 10 o'clock, and Kayla and I are heading out to Conway, South Carolina to pick up the stuff that we picked up from the auction or bought from the auction, and I've already done one local Facebook Marketplace deal early in the morning, and I've already dropped off all the packages for the day. So we're going to head out there, and I'll show you what we bought. 
All right, so we just got back from the auction and we spent a ton of money, but we also got a ton of good items. And if you've been watching my stuff, you know that I cleaned the garage and it didn't take me that long to junk it back up. Well, we got stuff down there and down there. So let's go ahead and get started on some stuff. This was my type of auction, some fishing gear. Actually, I bought all the fishing gear other than one lot. That one went a little high or I did bid on it. I just lost it, but I got a whole bunch of good stuff. So real quick, in this uh, auction, I tell you, there was a ton of antiques. I don't know nothing about antiques, but I did score this really cool uh, like shaving lot that they put together. That one right there is worth about $39.99 like, together. It also comes with the blades and more blades. And then I've sold stuff like this for like $10 to $20 a piece. So, and then we got like little tins and stuff. So not too bad there. Then the fishing gear. All right, well, we're not gonna go over all the fishing gear, but I will point out some good ones. That, uh, that were in here. Now some of these rods are custom rods and they'll go for 20 to $50 a piece. Now some are junk. The ones I put over there won't go for anything because they're broken. But some of these locally will still sell, like especially the surf fishing rods, when surf fishing comes back, you know, you're talking easy 20 to 30 bucks a piece on those. But the reels I wanna go over, one is this one right here. This is called the Greenie from Penn. So this is a Pen Fishing 712 and it's green and that's why they call it the greenie. This one does work, has the drag knob on it and uh, this one easy, these are kind of rare and hard to find and in the picture I saw it and he had a lot of other pen items or the person had a lot of other pen items so I was thinking this one was what I wanted it to be and they go for about 50 to $60 just for this one reel. Then you do have some older pen. This one's like a 209 lever. They go for about 20 bucks. This one's in decent condition. Just needs to be shined up a little bit and it's working. We got two pen number nines. They don't go for a ton of money, but probably about $15 a piece most likely because here's the other one right here. I'll lot them together and they'll go for 30 bucks. The real winner here is going to be these and, and these are the pen 6500SS. Now, it comes with the original box and I have, this is another one of those, so I have two of those. And I have both the original boxes. This one I'll talk about in a second. But these, if you ever see these made in the United States, uh, they go for about 125, 100 to 125 dollars. This one's in really good condition. This one's in a little bit worse condition. Both are working, which is good. So you're talking probably 200 to 225 just right there with the original box. We'll go ahead and bring that up. And on the inside, I have the original paperwork. So all good things there. Then this one, this one is a pen 750 SS. Got it home, realized that it's actually busted. Not a big deal because this thing in parts, now if it was working in working order, it would go for about 135. But this alone, the bail goes for about 20 bucks. The handle goes for about 22 bucks. And the thing that's broken on it is that knob right there and it doesn't have the drag knob. The drag knob is cracked on it. But, so either I might buy it and just kind of refurbish it, but it's losing some stuff back here. It's, 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 it's not in good condition, I'll tell you that. It's not in good condition. So most likely, I'm gonna part out the parts that I can and I guarantee I'll make probably a hundred dollars just on the parts so definitely a good pickup there and then some older fishing gear here five to ten dollars a piece on the reels this reel down here is going to be another one probably ten bucks on just kind of like some older reels i usually set these up in lots if they're not you know worth more than twenty dollars a piece and then i just auction them off because i've made all my money on the pen reels alone then i bought this not knowing anything about this stuff right and the reason why i bought it so this is all new old stock like train parts and I bought some trains a while back and did super good on them and the accessories are kind of slow moving but I was like I got all this for like I think less than 50 bucks like maybe $40 and uh, so I was like I want to go ahead and try it out and it did work out in my favor because just just comping out a couple things I took some of these cars out this one right there that one car is worth like 30 bucks that car back there is worth I think 30 bucks that little guy's worth 10. The one sitting in there is worth like 20. And I think this guy is also worth 15 to 20. So right there, more than my money back and all this will be profit. So really cool stuff. All of it's brand new, still in the pack. So, I mean, I was trying to look up comps and really couldn't find a lot of information on these things. But I saw something similar to this go for about $15 plus shipping, you know, probably 10 to $15 a piece on those. But I'm gonna make sure I do my homework to make sure I'm pricing these correctly, not underpricing them. All good things. Then I did pick up some La Cousay. 
I know you guys beat me up on the last time I said La Croisette and pronounced the T, but in really good condition here. And uh, this one is pretty decent. It's got some chipping on the enamel there, and on the inside there is some wear in it. But uh, I still think in this condition they go for like 70 bucks to all the way up to $100, so not bad. This one, super good condition. Doesn't even look like it's really been used that much. That's just, that's not a mess up. That's just got like dirt in the inside or something. But the bottom in really good condition. And the only thing is there is a small chip in the enamel right there. Very small chip in the enamel. But I think this still goes for like 30 bucks. So now moving on to some more train stuff. Like these have like little people and a whole bunch of parts. And I will go through all this stuff and take a look at it, make sure I'm not, you know, setting things up in lots that need to be sold separately. But geez, there's probably, just by the stuff I've been looking, there's probably 20 to 30 bucks just in this and a lot. One of the most surprising things I picked up. Some reason I had an idea to, to go ahead and bid on these first aid items. This one has nothing in it, but the box alone, there's only one sold, none listed. So that means a very good sell through rate. And that one went for 40 bucks plus shipping. I'm pricing this thing high, probably 50, 55, 60 bucks plus shipping. It's in really good condition. And uh, I picked both of these up with the contents. Well, the contents were in this one for only $12. So, and then this thing right here, another huge surprising Snowfire Healing Tablet. The same box and everything. There's only one sold, none listed. Again, super good sell through rate. And that one went for $40. It's saying it's from World War II. It's like some healing thing that it's on the inside too and uh so that was surprising and then i haven't even looked up like all these old things that came inside here there's like an iodine thing back there and a bates company compound something so definitely really neat items here this also is a container first aid container old metal container i mean that probably goes for 20 30 dollars then these old cameras another couple of surprising things i picked these up i think for pretty cheap i think about 10 bucks and usually old Kodaks I don't buy. And I lucked out on this one because there's a sole comp for this guy for like 50 bucks. And this one is in immaculate condition. It comes with the case. Here's another Kodak. I'll be throwing some sole comps up on the screen. Another Kodak. And you got to be careful buying these because some of them just don't sell that well. And that one's like the 1B. I think this one goes with the case. I think it goes for about 30, 40, all the way up to 50 bucks. This one, this one's weird. It has some like low sole comps, like 10 bucks, but the case goes for 24. There's a sole comp for the case for 24. And then I have some parts here. Now, pewter stuff. I did really well on some Wilton pewter stuff I bought at a yard sale about six months ago. All sold out very quickly. Now, this stuff is not, uh, not of it all is Wilton. Some of it is Pewterex, York, Pennsylvania. And uh, this is like a serving tray or serving, it's called like a soup thing. It actually comes with a ladle and the thing, and all that matches. Online, that's going for about 40 bucks. None sold, only two listed. And like these plates, I've sold them before, the Wilton ones, for like 5 to $10 a piece. And this is a big aluminum thing. It only goes for about $10, so not too good there. But this thing is a really old Sunbeam uh, sander. Now... I'll make sure it works and there's one listed for $74 plus shipping none sold or anything I'll undercut that pretty far and try to get 30 bucks for it if it works that right there is just a big old motor uh, buffing wheel I think it's a it's a Westinghouse quarter horsepower so more horsepower usually means more money that's a quarter horsepower I think you can get like 20 bucks for it we got this fishing cart Local sale on this one will be easy 20 bucks. Fishing carts for beaches are super expensive. Three, four, five hundred bucks. Seriously, that's how much they go for. Something like this, homemade. Man, you can sell this easy for 20, 30 bucks locally. We got a sled. I mean, look at all this cool vintage stuff, right? Got a sled. This one is a, it says it's somewhere, a flexible flyer 51 airline junior made in pennsylvania and uh none really sold anywhere but they're all listed for about 150 all the way up to about 250 so picked it up for 26 dollars then in, we got a whole bunch of these now long and burger you know i like to sell because i sell them all the time these are called peterborough basket company made in the united states some good looking baskets not bad got liners in them and i picked them a whole bunch of them up this one's like a real big one and uh 
and they have a decent following online it looks like you know not as big i would say as longer burger maybe but definitely they sell like this one's a monster the, in the picture it did not look this big and they don't really put measurements on anything so this is a this is pretty monster that's an oversized package right there so hopefully it's worth some money but it looks like each one of these go for between 10 to 20 dollars uh, a piece this one's got like some you know dividers in it i guess for utensils maybe or something but they all got the original tags on them so that's helpful let's see if it says no doesn't say how much it was worth but what i'm seeing with the liners and like this thing the the, the fabric liner and the protector you're looking at 20 to 30 dollars a piece and we did get like a little one so i think i got five for about uh 10 to 15 dollars or something but again everything that i'm showing you 536 dollars all in and then last but not least, we did get a couple tools. That tool is completely worthless, but this one, this is a old Craftsman belt sander. Again, it's only half horsepower. If it was like a, a whole horsepower, it'd be worth about 20, 30 bucks. This one's probably only worth $10 if it's worth anything, I mean, if it works. So, but through everything, after I added all up, I will do the breakdown at the end and flash up what I think I'm gonna make. It's a lot to go over, it's a lot to process, uh, but, for 536 bucks all in it was definitely a good buy because i'll make 536 dollars more than that just on the reels alone all right so that's everything that i bought today be a full-time ebay reseller now i tell you this my return usually when it comes to high bid is a lot less than going to yard sales but high bids a lot easier i mean i just sat on the computer last night for like an hour still packed some stuff so multitask bought some stuff for online for 536 bucks and took you know 30 minutes to go pick it up 30 minutes back so really quite easy for the amount of money that i'm going to make at the end of this i will go ahead and show exactly what i think i will make on the breakdown definitely a whole bunch of unique items especially in those old like train sets or train parts and then definitely the first aid kit was very surprising how much that went for and some other things but the reels and rods i knew exactly what i was buying and what i was going to make on them uh, but everything else was actually a pleasant surprise especially like the little match cars worth like 30 dollars a piece i'll tell you this there were some more sets of match cars and train sets uh, that now I wish I kind of would have purchased. They went a little high, but now I know why, because people probably saw those little things in there, the little cars that were $30 a piece. So, but anyway, I do appreciate everybody that watches and you know I will always get you on the next one.